I read the Blood Axe book of modern Australian poetry to try and feel closer to you. But it just makes me feel further away and like a worse poet. So I pour a glass of Australian wine, which works a little better. And look through the small window of this old British house at a distinctly British field, wet with genuine rain. You water your grass out there. Who have you been and who do you want to become? You're in the belly of the whale now, son. and chapters of fantastic Mr. Fox on WhatsApp video calls, which has for some reason become our thing. sent from the future. Does it get any better for us? But you can never say. So I'll take you home to sleep all day. Then when I turn in to wait, eventually we'll sink.
All the time we haven't spent lapping at our heels, all the other hands we've held that were not ours before you head home and we both go back to lives we've had and have to have again, again. To that too familiar eight, to that halfway house of wanting but not having, to that space, enough to pull you out of one life but not land you in a new one. My ache and I have become good friends, actually. I see so much of them. On Sundays, my ache and I lie in a while, go for coffee at the kiosk in the park. The kinds of things I think about when I think about Sundays but never used to do, my ache and I do them. Sometimes we do them on days that aren't Sundays as well. Sue me. I sit and listen to my ache breathing through the sift January sun and the quiet hurt of the morning fills us both like a difficult war film we can't help revisit. The story is beautiful, there is music, how this all could have been avoided, etc. You've only got yourself to blame, says my ache, knowingly. Shut up, I say, you're supposed to be here for moral support. I am. I walk to the distinctly British field and howl the space across the afternoon, a sound that makes the animals uneasy. Like a sheepdog at the coming of a storm, and all the cows lie down, and I lie with them, until only my body can speak. It's the fox and farmer stakeout that kills me. The waiting, and the waiting, and the waiting, and the hiding till they almost starve. You are seven megapixels held in the palm of my hand. That's belly of the whale time, man. <laughs>